Okay, welcome to Stitches of Summer number four. We're on the second part of knots. So starting with a four leg knot, you begin with a vertical stitch and then one off to the side. Bring your thread across and then stitch underneath and over. And pull that one through. And then stitch that down. It's a very simple cross uh, cross stitch style. Um, yeah, <laughs> not much as I can say about that. Now we're moving on to an ermine, ermine, ermine stitch. It's more of a filling stitch than an, than a knot, but it kind of it's filed as both in the the books I've checked. So very simple. Start with on vertical stitch, and then come in slightly lower to one side and cross in that direction and just mirror that move in the opposite direction kind of a star and then you can obviously do one in the opposite face a little bit of texture and different. Okay so moving on to the moss stitch which is kind of like a four-legged notch but crossways so stitch across like that and then one above down underneath both stitches and then again and then drop a stitch in behind so that is kind of a four leg knot but going in the other other direction Just, uh, now moving on to an Algerian eye stitch, it's also called an, a star eyelet. So start outside the star and then go in and then come up at an angle and you're pulling fairly tight so you're going back through the same hole every time. Now if you're using a linen or a slightly more open weave this is a lot more successful. So you're just gradually making a hole essentially and pulling it open. So this one is traditionally eight arms, eight stitches. Ooh, a bit uneven, never mind. And for whatever reason, they're normally done anti clockwise. I, I've done both and I can't find a particular difference one way or another. So here, got to the end, and we have a hole. I don't know how well that's going to come out. Remember, but there is honestly a gap in the middle there. So that's an Algerian eye stitch. And that is. Um, all the knots so far. There's a couple more to come but they they kind of are involved in other stitches so once you've got your basic lines and your knots you can pretty much start doing anything. You can build any image you like using um, line stitches and your knots are just there as um, points of interest or texture or whatever. If you pack things like the Chinese colonial or French knots together you get a bobbly texture um, and that, that's quite a nice kind of thing to go. If you use Chinese knots with loops, you can make tassels. Um, so yeah, if you just learn a couple of stitches, learn a couple of these. And I'll see you again tomorrow.